Hi, this is Mike. Welcome to another video in my series, My GoPro Tips. In this video, I'll be showing you how to overlay the output from a third-party GPS logger and produce gauges on your GoPro video, like this. In this example, I'm going to be using the output from a GT31 data logger, which is in a .sbn file format. This is the data logger that I use and indeed is probably still the most popular data logger for windsurfers and especially those that do speed windsurfing. Now I know that some of the later GoPro models have onboard GPS logging but that's not available as a separate data file and nor does it record in nautical miles and knots which is what I require. So the first step is to convert the output from the GT31 which is in a .sbn file format into a .gpx file format. To do that I'm going to use some freeware called GPS Babel. That's available on the URL that you can see on the screen and I'll copy details of that URL on the notes below this video. Okay, so once you've loaded GPS Babel, you get this form and this is how you fill that form out. So on the top line, you want it to record tracks. You then search for the input file format, which I've already filled in here. There's a whole table of options there for you. The output file format, again a table of options. Browse and copy in your file, in my case an SBN file. Neither of these need to be checked. Use advanced options to target the GPX version for output as 1.1. There are two versions of GPX, version 1 and version 1.1. I require the latter here. Once you're happy you've filled in all of the fields correctly, then just select convert the file and that will give you the option then to download that file wherever you wish on your PC. The software I'm going to use to display gauges and a track on my GoPro video is Dashware. Uh, if you haven't got it already this is how you get it www.dashware.net So once you've loaded Dashware you get a screen like this and you'd uh, merely open a new project. You can see here that it's given it a project name. You can change that to what you like. Uh, you can set up a project template. I've already done one uh, here. Press OK on that. And you can see that the template that I've already designed uh, is already on the screen. Then it's just a matter of loading your GoPro video clip that you want to use uh, on this line. And on this line, the GPX file that you just converted in the previous stage. So if you remember the video I showed you a little early on in the uh, video here, if I open that project, I think was this one. There's my GoPro clip. That's the reference of my GoPro file. And here is the data file that was converted from the output of my GT31. And the two are now overlaid. These gauges can be designed in the gauge toolbox and then create it as a template to save you having to repeat that process each time. The only other task then is to synchronize your data track with the video. And that's a topic all on its own, which would take a complete video. So I'm not going to cover that here. 
Now this clip is already synchronized because it's a finished project of course. Once you're happy with the synchronization, you can ask it then to create a video and you will then have a finished product, your video, with the, your gauges that you have designed uh, overlaid on top of your video. All that's left then to do is to incorporate that into your video editor, into the rest of the video that you are creating. You could also use this process for other forms of data output besides that from the GT31. So I hope you enjoy using your GoPro and if you've got a data logger and you want to put some gauges of your speeds, direction, track, etc. on top of your video, then try and follow this process. Have fun. Bye now.